Hey guys, it's Ashley from Yoga for That. I'm here to film our first video for our online yoga studio. Uh, I know the quality of this video is particularly not that great, um, but over time, as we get more and more members joining in, I'll be able to splurge on some better equipment. Um, I'm also here in Kelowna um, for the foreseeable future, um, and so I don't have all the stuff that I would normally be using using to film. Um, but I do have um, a makeshift couple items here. Um, Zerna works through some heart openers. If you have blocks or bolsters at home, you can definitely use those instead. I have scrounged up um, a muscle roller and a blanket that I've rolled into a ball. Um, so those are some options that you have at home is just using what you have. Uh, yoga doesn't have to be an expensive um, exercise or an expensive um, activity. Uh, you can use what you have laying around for sure. I mean, obviously a yoga mat is great, but some people don't even use that. If you have a, a decent carpet that you don't get rug burn on, you could just use your carpet at home um, or a towel or something like that. We're focusing on heart openers this week. That was our, our affirmation or our thought of the week was um, this idea of vulnerability. So sometimes what happens with heart openers is we we do begin to expose ourselves we become more open and as humans as we've evolved we've started to kind of go more internal so feeling this openness during your practice today might be a um, very new feeling for you today um, it might invoke some emotion it might invoke some feeling um, so of course if you're feeling that rest child's pose shavasana whatever you might need uh, during your practice and always feeling free to rest drink water um, take breaks as you'd like and rejoining back in as you're ready this is your workout your time um your space so make sure you're doing what honors your body today for sure um and we will get into the sequence <laughs> Um, or muscle roller that we're going to use at the start just in between the shoulder blades. You could use a block instead traditionally. I more often use a block for that. Um, and then also option is just to take a blanket, um, fold it up a few times, and then just rolling it so it's a little bit more circular. So you could use that under your back as well. Um, if you have a big elastic or a strap, you could also um, secure the bolt. Um, your blanket in that way as well. I'm just going to toss this over to the side for now. Um, we or may not use it later in my practice. Um, my feet get really cold, so I'm actually going to practice with my feet this way today. So you're going to take your block or your booster and you're going to place it um, on your mat. And then you're just going to sit down on your mat. And as you roll down, you want to make sure the block or the booster is just starting about the tips of your shoulder blades. Then you're gonna roll on back. Now for some people, this the throat opener of having the head hanging back is a way too much, way too intense. So that's when you could take a secondary block, you could take a pillow um, and just create that support underneath the back of the head so your throat isn't so open. Taking the arms nice and wide, maybe resting hands on the belly, on the chest, on the heart, whatever feels best here. Your feet can stay on your mat. You're welcome to bring the feet together, or you can extend your legs nice and long. So taking this nice, comfy space, of course, if having this heart opener right at the start is already too much, it's removing that stuff underneath your back and coming right onto the floor. And taking a moment, you might need to fidget or move in a way that allows your body to find comfort into the space. And of course, you can have your eyes open or closed, palms up or palms down. And then as your body begins to find this sense of stillness, allowing your body to settle, allowing your mind to calm and to clear. On your exhale to release any stress or tension from your body or your mind. And 
as you inhale, beginning to invite in positive feelings, positive thoughts, positive energy for your practice today. to find this sense of melting, this sense of grounding into the earth. Getting to find the energy from underneath you. Your next inhale, beginning to deepen your breath. Beginning to bring an awareness back to the space around you. Beginning to invite movement into your fingers and your toes. Beginning to create circles into your wrists. If your feet aren't already on the floor, bending at your knees, placing the feet on the earth. And from here, you're just going to gently roll to the right or left side of your body. Coming off of your props and then moving your props just out of the way. And as you rest here on your side, setting an intention for your practice. And as you're ready, coming onto your back once again. Feet on the earth, hands on cactus, and we'll be resting on your belly. And from here, just heel toeing your feet as wide as your mat. Taking a moment to rock the knees side to side, getting to roll out through the low back, bringing awareness into your hips, just beginning to sink your breath and your movement. Coming all the way through center, heel is showing the feet back to hip distance, and simply drawing the right knee in towards the chest, followed by the left, giving yourself a nice big hug. From here, taking a moment to rest onto the earth. And you might gently begin to rock side to side. You might prefer to rock back and forth. You might even come to a pause and just begin to create some circles with your knees. And coming to pause and be changing direction. Noticing how your back feels against the earth. Now with this final round, coming to pause, knees, chest. Just giving yourself a nice big hug here. You might hold the shins, you might hold the backs of your thighs. And from here, you're going to place your left foot to the earth. And simply wrap your right leg over top of your left. Bringing your arms to cactus, shifting your hips over to the right, and then gently rotating over towards the left. You might keep your gaze up towards the sky. You might begin to look over towards the right, helping to deepen the stretch to the right side body. Think of lengthening through the right side body. Hip lengthens away from the shoulders. You can throw the shoulders to the earth and beginning to breathe into your ribs. And as you inhale, coming all the way back through center. Be returning to the earth and then squaring your hips. Drawing the left knee in towards the chest and wrapping the left leg over top of the right. 
simply shifting your hips over towards the left and rolling over towards the right. Again, looking up or over the left shoulder. Anchoring through the shoulder and lengthening the hip away. And as you inhale, coming all the way through center. Feet returning to the earth, spread your hips since they've shifted. From here, you're going to hug the right knee in towards the chest, followed by the left. And you're welcome here to roll over to right or left side, pressing yourself up to seated or rock back and forth on the spine. So as you make your way to seated, we're going to come to meet on hands and knees. So hands are going to spread about as wide as your mat and then spread through your fingers. And as if you're trying to suction your hands onto the mat, tippy fingers ground into the earth and the palms of the hands actually lift slightly off the floor. Soften through your elbows, shoulders stack over your wrists. Knees under your hips and toes can be tucked or untucked, so especially if you have a really hard floor, feeling free to untuck the toes. As you inhale, there's a lifting of your tailbone and opening of your heart forward and up. As you exhale, beginning to draw the belly up towards the sky and gazing towards your ankle. Inhaling to lift the tailbone, open the heart forward. Exhale to wrap the spine. Taking three more here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Take one more round. Inhale to lift your tailbone, open the heart forward and up. And as you exhale, beginning to round through the spine. Inhale to come back to your neutral spine. You're welcome to take here a moment to pause. And then walking your hands slightly forward and knees slightly back. From here, shift the shoulders back over your wrists. From here, you're going to draw the elbows in towards the ribs as you lower towards the earth. Untuck your toes, spin the inner thighs towards the sky. And from here, you're going to walk your elbows underneath your shoulders. So here, you either want your palms fully on the earth or fully on your mat. So that might be scooting forward or scooting back. And then from here, you anchor your palms and your forearms into the floor. And then begin to draw the shoulders down as you squeeze your shoulder blades together. Begin to broaden through your chest. Your gaze might be in between your thumbs, forward or up towards the sky if you prefer that throat opener. Begin to send your pubic bone down into the floor to begin lengthening through your low back and taking away that clenching sensation in the low and mid back. Press through the tops of the feet, begin to engage through your legs. And soften into your breath. Take one more big breath and broaden through the shoulders. And as you exhale, begin to bring the gaze back in between your thumbs. Stack your palms on top of each other. Take your elbows wide and rest your forehead. Beginning to rock your hips side to side, massaging out your low back. As you're ready, hands come underneath your shoulders. Tucking your toes, come through hands and knees, pressing into down dog. Taking a moment here to walk your dog out. Bending into one knee, pressing them back through opposite heel. Begin to notice where in your body you feel the stretch. Where you feel your breath, your thoughts traveling. Coming into your still downer dog is your body. Again, anchoring through your palms to be fingers ground into the earth. Eyes of your elbows begin to point forward, anchoring through your palms, soften your knees as your hips lengthen towards the wall behind you.
Breathing here, find your energy into the earth. Drawing low belly into your spine, find length through the sides of your body. And as you inhale, you're gonna come high on your toes. Bend your knees, exhale, step, walk, or hop forward. As you inhale, there's a lengthening of your heart forward. As you exhale, folding over your thighs. Two more here, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Last time, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold and hold. Hands to earth, backs of legs or opposite elbows. And then relax to the crown of the head. Begin to bring the weight more forward into your toes, feeling the weight equal to the front and back of your foot. Feeling free to stay here, draw your low belly in and begin to sway side to side or forward and back. As you feel ready, come to pause. Release your hands towards the earth and then inhale to lengthen. As you exhale, palms press to the earth, step back to a plank. From here, shifting forward from your toes. Lower your knees to the earth and lower your chest to the floor. Untuck your toes, inhale, chest forward in that baby cobra. And exhale to release. Two more here. Inhale to broaden the chest. Exhale to release. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to release. Tuck your toes. Come through hands and knees or plank, meeting in your downward dog. Finding the breath, reconnecting with your intention. With an inhale coming high on your toes, bend your knees, exhale, step, walk, or hop away. Inhaling to lengthen, find the length of your spine. Exhale to release. As you inhale, begin to ragdoll to stand, rising one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow and controlled. Draw the shoulders down and back, palms face forward, mountain pose. With a soft bend in your knees, anchor through all four corners of your feet. Bending your gaze forward, down, or up. Allow yourself a moment to ground into the earth as you find the length through your spine and your legs. As you inhale, reaching the arms up towards the sky, maybe gazing up. As you exhale, hinging at your hips and folding over your thighs. Inhaling to lengthen, find that length in your spine. And then exhale to plant your palms, step back to your plank. From here, shift forward from your toes, shoulders just past the wrists. Option to lower the knees or lower all the way to the floor. Untuck your toes, inhale to broaden through the chest. And as you exhale, release to the earth. Tucking your toes, coming through hands and knees, meeting in your downward. As you inhale, coming high on your toes, bend your knees, exhale, step, walk, or hop forward. As you inhale, find the length of your spine. And as you exhale, fold over your thighs. This time as you inhale, reverse one dive to stand, reaching hands towards the sky. As you exhale, palms draw through heart center. Find a big breath out. Exhale to release your palms. Inhale, to reach the arms up, gaze may follow. Exhale to fold over your thighs as you hinge at your hips. Inhale to lengthen. 
Exhale to punch your palms, stepping back to your plank. As you inhale, shifting forward from your toes. From knees or toes lower, halfway or all the way down to the floor. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale to press back, downward facing dog. Take a moment to pause and breathe. Reconnect with your intention. Reconnect with your breath. As you inhale, coming high on your toes. Bend your knees, exhale, step, walk, or hop, boy. Inhaling to lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale to release. Inhale to rise, reaching hands towards the sky. No pause, exhale to dive over your thighs. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to plant your palms, step back to plank. Optional vinyasa, knees or toes, or simply meet in downward dog. Fire in the breath. Palm the mind. Inhale, high on toes. Bend the knees, exhale, step, walk or hop forward. Inhale to lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale to release. Inhale to rise, shoot hands towards the sky. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to punch your palms, step back. Optional vinyasa, coming to meet in your downward dog. Now as you inhale, high on the toes. Bend the knees, exhale, step, walk or hop forward. Inhale to lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale to release. Inhale to rise, reaching hands towards the sky. Exhale, palms to heart center. Release the hands of the side. Feet hip distance apart or big toes touching. As you inhale, weight comes into your heels, reaching the arms forward, chair pose. Tucking the tailbone to the back, edge your mat, lengthen through the spine, gazing down, big breath in. As you exhale, fold over your thighs as you straighten the legs. Inhale to lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale to plunge your palms, stepping back to your plank foundation. Optional vinyasa, coming to meet in your downward dog. Take a big breath in. Exhale, side out. With an inhale, lifting your right leg high. Exhale to step your right foot to your right thumb. Bring your back knee down to the floor. Option to untuck the back toes and or roll your mat underneath your knee for extra cushion. As you inhale, rise, low lunge. Making sure the knee is stacked over your equal. Draw your right hip back, left hip slightly forward, and then sink deeper into your front knee. From here, you're going to hook your thumbs together. Broaden through your chest. You might just stay here. Bending more depth into your front knee. Lengthen out of your hips. And as you exhale, begin to lean back. That brings any discomfort into the mid or low back. Don't like coming out until that sensation disappeared. Big breath in. As you exhale, releasing your hands back to the earth, plant your palms. Lift your back knee, option to step back three-legged, regular, or no vinyasa. You'll come to meet in your downward dog. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, left leg lifts high. 
Dropping your left foot to your left thumb and help it forward as you might need to. Back knee comes down to the earth. And tuck your back toes. Again, option to fold the mat over so this would give more cushion to your knee. As you inhale, rising up a little lunge. So you might gaze down if the neck is bothering you, forward or up. Draw your left hip back, right hip forward. Sinking deeper into your front knee, hook your thumbs opposite direction. Lengthen out of your hips as you begin to lean back. Find your breath. Not working through pain or discomfort, but maybe playing with your edge. Big breath in. As you exhale, returning the hands to the earth. Tuck your back toes. Option to step back three-legged, regular, or no vinyasa. Take a big breath in. Exhale, side out. With an inhale, high on toes, bend your knees. Exhale, step, walk, or hop away. Inhaling to lengthen halfway left. Exhale to release. Walk your big toes together to touch, but a space between your heels. As you inhale, sink down and up, chair pose. Hands come to heart center. Lengthen the tailbone. Draw the shoulders down your back. As you exhale, twist into the right, you might just hold in the air, or you might hook your elbow. Sink your hips as low as you can, big breath in. Stay for your exhale. Inhale to return through center. Exhale, twist the left, hold in the air, or hook your elbow. Press your palms, left shoulder down your back. With an inhale, come through center. Exhale, fold over your legs, straight in the left. Inhale to halfway left. Exhale to release. Plant your palms, step back to plank. Optional vinyasa, coming to meet in your downward dog. As you inhale, right leg lifts high. Exhale to step your right foot to your right thumb. Left knee comes to the earth to start. Again, you can fold your mat over or untuck your toes. As you inhale, lengthen, coming into your low line. Hands come to prayer. Lengthen out of your hip shoulders away from your ears, and as you exhale, twist. So you might hold in the air, you might hook onto your thigh. Anchor through your palms, right shoulder down your back. You could stay here. Option to lift the back knee. Reach along through your heels, so if you find the back knees dipping down, open the back of the knee to the sky. Big breath in. Exhale to stay. Inhale to come through center. Release your hands to the earth, step back. Again, three-legged, regular, or no vinyasa. Coming to meet in your downward dog. Inhale, left leg lifts high. Left foot steps to left thumb. Help it forward if you need to. So the knee is stacked right over top of your ankle. Back knee comes down again, rolling the mat over or untucking your toes. Inhale to rise into your low lunge. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale to find the length of your spine. Exhale to twist, hooking the elbow. Anchor through your palm. From here, again, option to stay low or lift your back knee off the floor. Sinking your hips lower, getting deeper into your hip flexor. Inhale to come through center. Exhale to plant your palms. Step back to plank. Optional vinyasa. Coming to meet in your downward dog. Big breath in. Exhale, side out. Inhale, high on the toes, bend the knees. Exhale, step, walk, or hop away. Inhale, to so lengthen, halfway left. Exhale, to release. 
As you inhale, rise to stand, reaching hands towards the sky. Exhale, palms through heart center. Release the hands beside you. Soften through the knee, broaden through your chest. Take the hands at your low back. Clasp your hands together and reach the fist down towards the earth. So once again, gaze can stay down, forward, or up towards the sky. You're more than welcome to stay up. Or as you exhale, bring the gaze forward, starting to hinge at your hips, fold over the legs. Relax the top of the head towards the floor. Hands can stay on the back or reaching the fist for the back corner of the room. Keeping your chest broad, breathing into your collarbones and relaxing the crown of the head. Shift the weight forward into your toes and begin to breathe into your hamstrings. No more big breath in. Exhale, side out. If you're in upright, holding forward. And then everyone's going to release their hands down to the floor. Inhale to lengthen, find that length in the spine. As you exhale, plant your palms. Stepping back to your plank foundation, optional vinyasa, coming to meet in your downward dog. Take a big breath in. Exhale, side out. As you inhale, lifting your right leg high. Exhale to step your right foot to your right thumb. Now from here, you're going to step your left foot in about a foot and plant your heel onto the earth. Keeping the right toes pointed forward, always option to use some blocks here if you have some handy. From here, you're going to begin to straighten your front leg. Draw your right hip back, left hip slightly forward, and then reach along through your left heel. You're welcome to work through this straight spine or fold over the front leg. You might have a little bit of, or a big bend into this knee, especially to protect your hamstring. So don't worry about what the pose may or may not look like, but what does it feel like? Big breath in. Exhale, side out. From here, soften back into that front knee and walk your palms slightly forward. You're going to step your left foot back so you're back into that runner's lunge foundation and then step it back three-legged, regular, or no vinyasa, meaning in your down dog. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, left leg lifts high. Left foot steps the left thumb. Help it forward if you need to here. And then step the right foot in so you can get your heel on the floor. So this side, even for me, the calf feels really tight. So I'm going to walk my foot a little bit closer this time. As I inhale, I'm going to straighten my front leg. And I feel quite tight into this hamstring. So I might take a bigger bend into this knee or feel like I am. Left hip draws back, right hip slightly forward. And then relax to the crown of the head or working to that length of the spine, your choice. This pose is really great with blocks. You can come a little bit higher, anchoring down through both of your heels. Take a big breath in. Exhale to let it go. Bending back into the left knee, walking your palms slightly forward, and then stopping your right leg back coming into that runner's lunge. Stepping back into your plank, three-legged, regular, or no vinyasa, meeting in your downward dog. Big inhale to come high on your toes, bend your knees, exhale, step, walk, or hop forward. As you inhale, finding that length, halfway left. Exhale to release, forward fold. Relax through the neck. Shifting body weight forward and back or side to side, maybe shaking head yes or no. And coming to pause. Inhale to lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale to release. Walking your big toes together to tuck. As you inhale, sinking down into your chair pose. Exhale to swing the arms down and back, sink deep. Inhale to reach the arms forward. Two more here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
As you inhale, returning to your chair pose, hook your thumbs. Draw those shoulders down and back, broaden through your chest, lengthen your tailbone. And as you exhale, fold over your thighs. Inhale to lengthen. As you exhale, plant to your palms, stepping back to your plank foundation, coming to meet downward dog. Take a big breath in. Exhale, side out. As you inhale, lifting your right leg high. Exhale to step your right foot to your right thumb. Always option back knee can come down. We're going to inhale, rise into a high lunge. Reach along through your back heel. Front knee stacked over your ankle. From here, you're going to hook your thumbs, finding a deeper depth of your back bend. Only going as deep as feels good into your back. Right hip draws slightly back, left hip slightly forward. Big breath in. As you exhale, returning your hands to the earth. This time, shifting from your back toes and floating your left foot off the floor. Inhale to lengthen, find the length of your spine. And as you exhale, fold over your standing thigh. Pointing your left toes down to the floor and reaching along through your left heel. Take a big breath in. Stay for your exhale. As you inhale, bending into your front knee. Step back, runners lunge, and come to pause. Big breath. Exhale, side out. Planting your palms. Step it back, three-legged, regular or no vinyasa, meeting in your downward dog. Big breath in. Exhale. Inhale, left leg lifts high. Stepping your left foot to your left thumb, help it forward if you need to. Again, right knee can always come down to the earth at any time. Inhale to rise, high lunge. Reach along through your back heel, left knee stacks over your ankle, left toes pointing forward. Hook your thumbs the other direction. Lengthen out of your hips, and as you exhale, begin to lean back. One side you might have more flexibility than the other. Left it back, right hip slightly forward. Big breath in. As you exhale, returning your hands to the earth. Fingertips to floor. Shifting forward from your toes, floating your right foot off the floor. Point your toes down, reach long through your heel and anchor down through your left foot. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold over the thigh. Big breath in. Exhale to stay. Inhale, bend into your sun knee, step back, runner's lunge, come to a pause. Stretching through outer hip and hip flexor. As you exhale, planting your palms to earth, step back, three-legged, regular, or no vinyasa. Coming to meet in your downward dog. Big breath in. As you exhale, releasing your knees down to the earth. Walk your hands towards your knees as you untuck your toes. Coming to meet and seated. You're going to draw your tailbone down towards the floor. So if you prefer to sit on a block or maybe your towel or any makeshift prop here, you can. Taking this nice long spine. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, hands come to your low back, fingertips point down towards the floor. Then use your palms to help lengthen your low back down so we automatically start to arc our back here. So you want to keep this nice length through our low spine. Pressing the tailbone down, begin to broaden your chest forward and slightly up as you squeeze your elbows together. Again, gaze might come down forward or up. Finding the breath in between your collarbones. Take a moment to reset the breath, reconnect with the intention. Big breath in. Exhale, gazing forward, releasing your hands, walking your hands back out, and returning to your downward dog foundation. Now as you inhale, lifting your right leg high. Exhale to stop your right foot in between your hands this time as you rotate the back heel down. 
So you want to make sure the toes are pointing forward, knees stacked over your ankle, and back toes might turn in slightly. As you inhale, beginning to rise up, warrior two. So if you find the knee is knocking inward, or you're coming off the outside edge of your foot, is anchoring the whole foot into the floor, and then drawing the knee slightly over towards the right so you can see your big toe. It might help to turn your back toes in slightly, opposed to having them parallel to the back edge of your neck. Arms come wide. Wrists in line with those shoulders roughly, then sinking a little bit deeper into your front knee. You're welcome to stay here or bring your hands to your low back and clasp your hands together, working to broaden the chest, gazing down forward or up. Or as you exhale, diving shoulder to the inside of your knee, humble warrior. Inhale to lift the chest or rise back up. As you exhale, diving forward. Inhale to rise back up. Last time here as you exhale, dive. Holding here, relax the crown of the head. Hands might stand low back or reach out behind you. Anchoring through both feet, hug your inner thighs towards one another. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. As you inhale, rising up, warrior two. As you exhale, windmilling your hands down to the floor. Lift your back heel, step back, three-legged, regular or no vinyasa, coming to meet in your downward dog. Big breath in. Exhale, side out. Inhale, left leg lifts high. Left foot steps in between your hips. Rotate your back heel down. Inhale to rise, warrior two. Sinking nice and deep into that front knee, finding a length through your back leg and working stacking shoulders over the hips. So if you find you're shifting forward or back, it's like someone's holding you equally in both directions. Big breath in. Exhale, hands, low back, clasp your hands, open your chest. As you exhale, dive, shoulder to the inside of your knee. Inhale to lift with the chest. Exhale to dive. Inhale to lift. Last time here, exhale to dive. Relax through the crown of the head. Hands rest on low back or reach out behind you, broad in the chest. Breathe into your collarbone. As you inhale, lift the chest flat back. Release your hands, a warrior two. Big breath in. Exhale, windmill your hands to the floor, lift your back heel, step back, three legged, regular or no vinyasa. Coming to meet, downward dog. Big breath in. Exhale, side out. Knees to earth. Untuck your toes, walk your hands towards your knees. So option two here is I'm going to go into a bigger back bend. Let me move some of this stuff out of my way. All right. So option one, of course, is to come back to this same stretch, either hands together or hands at low back. So get deeper into our quads if you're looking for that stretch as well today. Is so to take the hands behind you, actually fingertips pointing towards your toes. From here, you're gonna press into the earth with all four corners of your palms, and then draw the shoulder down the back as you lift the chest towards the sky like you're trying to chest bump the ceiling. Then keeping your elbows nice and soft. So still stretching through those shoulders and the chest. You might gaze down in front of you, forward, up, or even back, so whatever feels best. And from here, even you might begin to lift your hips off the heels. But keep lifting through your chest. Elbows are soft, so especially if you tend to hyperextend your elbows, really great opportunity to play with that small bend. Big breath in. Exhale to release your hips down towards the heels, and then walk your hands up towards your knees. Take a moment to pause here, palms up or palms down. Eyes open or eyes closed. Resettle the breath. Resettle the intention. Take a cleansing breath in. Cleansing breath out. 
gently flutter the eyes open if they were closed. And walking yourself back out and coming to return to your downward dog foundation. Take a big breath in. Exhale, side out. <sighs> Lifting your right leg high. Stepping your right foot to your right thumb or in between the hands for warrior two foundation. Rotate the back heel down and rise on up warrior two. This time we're going to straighten the front leg. Anchor down through both heels, engage your core. Then reach your right arm forward, sending your left hip behind you. Keeping this length through the sides of the body, simply tilting at the shoulders to the back of the hand comes the inside of your leg. Top hand reaching towards the sky, gaze might follow, gaze may be forward or down. Always option hand to low back if the shoulder is bugging you. Really great opportunity here is to then draw the left shoulder down and back so you can broaden through your chest. Keep anchoring through your right heel and sending your right hip uh, hamstring back towards the wall behind you. Big breath in. Exhale to side out. As you inhale, bend back into your front knee, returning to your warrior two. As you exhale, windmill your hands to the floor, lift your back heel, and step back to your plank foundation. Big toes together to touch. Left hand or right hand walks forward and um, forward and in. Rotate to the outer edge of your right foot, opening up into your side plank. Always option bottom knee to floor or top foot in front of the hip. Adding on tree or star. Big breath in. Exhale, top hand comes down, plank foundation, optional vinyasa, meaning in your downward dog. Last little bit of work. Inhale to lift the left leg high. Step your left foot in between your hands. Rotate your back heel down. Rise on up, warrior two. Pausing here, straighten your front leg. Anchor through both heels. Send your right hip back as you reach your left arm forward. Tilt the shoulders, back of the hand to the inside of your thigh. Gazing up, forward, or down. Top hand behind the back if you prefer, working to broaden the chest. Hugging inner thighs towards each other, keep the core engaged. Big breath in. Exhale, side out. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale to windmill the hands to the floor. Lift your back heel. Step back to plank. Left hand walks in and up. Rotate over to the outer edge of your left foot. Opening up to your side plank. Bottom knee to floor. Top foot in front of the hip. Tree or star. Big breath in. Exhale. Top hand comes down. Plank foundation. Or meeting in downward dog. Big breath in. As you exhale, returning knees to earth, untuck your toes, press it back, child's pose. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Walking hands towards your knees. I'm going to sit up on your shins. Shifting your legs over to one side. Just sit the legs out in front of you. So from here, take a moment to adjust. Grab some water if you need to here. And then as you sit, moving the flesh away from your sit bones so you can actually feel those bony protrusions on the earth. And then take your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Point your right toes up towards the sky. Reaching the arms up towards the sky as you exhale, dive over the front thigh. From here, if you can reach your toes, awesome. If not, don't worry about it. Bag of the knees off the floor. I'm only going as far into the stretch as you're beginning to feel that stretch into the hamstring. So again, not worrying about what the pose looks like or how deep you get, just how it feels in your body. If you're someone who's really flexible, you might place a block at the end of the foot to give yourself something more to reach for. Big breath in. Exhale, side out. And from here, begin to walk your hands up the thighs. From here, take your hand to the outside of your left knee. Foot can stay to the inside or can hop over to the outside edge of your foot. 
Left hand comes underneath your shoulder, and then anchor with your palm to broaden your chest. Reaching your right arm up towards the sky. You're going to twist and hug your arm around your thigh. Inhale to lengthen. Keep your right toes up as you exhale, twisting. You might look all the way over your shoulder, helping to deepen the twist, or only look as far as feels comfortable. Send your energy down to the floor as you reach the crown of the head towards the sky. Take a big breath in, lengthen. And as you exhale, gently soften. Inhale to come all the way through center, exhale, counter, twist. And as you inhale back through center, extend your legs long, give them a little bit of a shake. And then right foot to the inside of the thigh. Left toes point up towards the sky. Reach the arms up, and as you exhale, fold over the thigh. Again, you might reach for your thigh. You might get to your shin, you might reach your toes. It might look very different on this side. Just be kind to the body. If you're not feeling much of a stretch, bend a little or a lot into the knee. That'll release your hip flexor. Allow you to fold a little bit deeper, beginning to lengthen that hamstring into a stretch. One more big breath. Exhale, sigh it out. Walking your hands up your thigh, come back to seated. And the outside of your thigh, again, foot to the inside or outside of your left leg. Right palm underneath your shoulder, reaching up with your left arm. Exhale to twist, hook the elbow. Left toes stay pointed up. And if you can't, if you don't have that length of the arm, tip the fingers to earth, lengthen the spine, and then exhale to twist. Again, looking forward or looking behind you. Your breath in. Exhale to stay. And now to come back, the center. Exhale, counter twist. And extend both legs out in front of you, giving the legs a little bit of a shake. So from here, grabbing your block um, roller or blanket, I'm going to lay onto your back. So just keeping it within reaching distance. Roll the shoulders underneath you. If you have your hair in a weird ponytail, you can take that out here just for more comfort. So what we're gonna do here is feet are about hip distance apart, and of course you can always stay right on the earth. What I'm gonna do is take that bolster or block or blanket, and lift your hips off the earth. You're gonna slide that lift underneath your sacrum. Okay? From here, hands can come wide, they can rest on your belly, maybe even above your head. So in this supported bridge, allow your feet to anchor into the earth, almost like you're going to lift your hips off of the block or off of the prop, but still staying connected. Again, into lengthen your breath. Helping to re-engage to the thighs and the hamstrings. One more big breath in. As you exhale, releasing the weight back onto your prop. So you're welcome to stay here at the feet to the earth, or you can lift your knees over top of your hips. We're going to extend your legs up towards the sky. And so if you have something rolly like I do today, just be mindful that it's supporting you and you're not supporting the roller. This is a lot easier with a block, maybe even with a pillow or two underneath you, especially if the bolster nice and comfy. And when we have our legs up like this, it gives our body an opportunity to come back into the parasympathetic nervous system. So it's a part of the body when we sleep and we're relaxed. So if you're having trouble sleeping at night, you can do this pose, feet against the wall, um, and then using a couple of pillows underneath you for support. Take one more big breath in. Stay for your exhale, and then gently bending at your knees. From here, you're going to place your feet to the earth. And just take a moment to reconnect to the earth. Once you feel connected, you're going to anchor through your feet, lift your hips enough to slide that prop out from underneath you, and then return to the floor. So you might notice here the earth feels especially funny underneath the body. 
um, as if you were sinking deeper into the floor. So just take that moment to ground. And then from here, we're just going to go into our final rest. So you're more than welcome to come back into that heart opener that we had at the start. That felt really good. Since we did a lot of opening today, if you're feeling quite vulnerable, you might want to come to lay on your belly in Belly Shavasana or I Love the Earth Pose. You just want to come into reclined butterfly or traditional Shavasana, allowing yourself that opportunity to just rest into this space. any props you might like to support you, allowing yourself to fidget until the earth feels comfortable underneath you. Beginning to bring awareness back to your body. Back to the space around you. Inviting movement into fingers and toes. Circles with wrists and ankles. Placing your right foot to the earth, followed by the left. And choosing to roll to right or left side of your body. Taking a moment to reconnect with the intention you set for your practice. And whether you'd like to carry that forward through the rest of your day. Or leave behind you here. Taking a cleansing breath in. Cleansing breath out. As you feel ready, gently pressing yourself to seated. Coming to sit cross-legged or sitting on your heels, taking a nice tall spine. Eyes open or eyes closed, hands coming to prayer at heart center. May the light in me find the light in you. Namaste. Namaste.